Remember when Muslim women didn't shame Muslim men on the internet? Remember when Muslim women didn't complain about polygamy day and night? Remember when Muslim women would take pride and honor in their responsibilities? I can keep going. I need you and girls who think like you to understand how petty this is. Because this type of comment can be thrown right back in your face. Now, yes, it is the absolute right of the woman to set the mehr at whatever she wants. However, it is recommended, meaning she gets rewarded, if she sets the mehr low. And men have the absolute right to reject your mehr offer. And he is allowed to present a counter offer. If I was a guy, I would only ever accept a mehr around 5k, like max. Not because I'm cheap, but because if a girl wants 10k or more, that's suspicious to me. Why do you want money just laying around? Why are you marrying me if you do not feel secure with me? I wouldn't want to marry a girl where her priority is her pockets rather than the marriage. Muslims need to wake up. In the West, the divorce rate amongst the Muslims is similar to the divorce rate of the non-Muslims. They're both around 50% which tells us that Muslims are approaching marriage very similarly to how non-Muslims approach marriage. Now, non-Muslims don't typically get married until they find a spouse that does XYZ for them, meaning they get married for selfish reasons. And now we have Muslim women who come on the internet and say, I will not marry a guy unless he provides me this, this, and this. And guys who make posts as well who say, I will not marry her unless she's this, this, and that. People need to stop using preference as an excuse to just be selfish. Yes, everyone has preferences, but we also compromise. If you're not willing to compromise material preferences, then you're selfish. Both parties need to start approaching marriage selflessly. The best marriage is when both individuals care more about their partner and their needs than themselves, because this ensures that both people are satisfied. And there's also an establishment of trust amongst the relationship. Now to all the Muslim men out there who see this type of post and get discouraged, please don't. There are so many Muslimas who really don't think like this. We have to remember that TikTok is not a representation of the Ummah, alhamdulillah. Now what makes me cringe the most about these types of posts is that they actually encourage to make marriage harder. And this is what I'm saying when Muslims need to wake up. When you post these types of things, you're promoting that people stay single until they find the right man, they don't settle and this and that. Like we have amongst the Ummah a zina problem. Collectively, as an ummah, we need to start making marriage easier. And these types of posts are not helping. And as a side note, girls who think like this typically shame other girls who are fine with polygamy. If you are a woman who shames and thinks polygamy is gross, you have internalized Islamophobia. On top of that, if you think the sharia is gross, then there is likely an issue with your iman. Like honestly, men and women who have these selfish attitudes make me cringe to the max. Please just check yourselves.